Hi everyone, I'm not sure who's on here. This is our first time doing a live on Instagram. We normally do it over on Facebook. So if you're popping on, just uh, let me know you joined, say hi, comment on where you're from, where you're tuning in, if you're a Farm Bureau member and we'll, we'll get going. But today we're gonna do Live With Your Lobbyist. It's just me today, I'm Rachel Cohn, one of your lobbyists up here in Helena. It's a uh, snowy day out here. It snowed a little last night, and uh, we are having having a good Friday morning. So I hope everyone else is having a good good Friday. Um, we normally do live with your lobbyists at noon on Fridays on Facebook, and we decided that we were going to try and tag team it and get some done here on Instagram as well. Um, so keep an eye out for every Friday at noon to hear from us on some of the updates of what's been going on here at the legislature this week. Um, and when you're done with my live here today, go check over at Facebook and watch Nicole giving a live update and hear about what she has to say. Um, and again, every Friday you can, you can listen to both or you can do one after the other. So this week up in Helena, um, has not had too many bills, but we did testify on quite a few, um, having to do with water and hemp, um, and lots of other things. So I'll just kind of go through a run through of, of what we testified on. And if you have questions, just comment them just down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Um, and if you have, if you're watching this later and you have questions, please feel free to message us and we will, uh, try and message, try and answer your questions. So the first bill I want to talk about is Senate Bill 55. This was heard on Monday in Senate Natural Resources, and this has to do with watership updates, watership ownership ownership updates, sorry, <laughs> um, and just trying to clarify some of the parts and pieces of that. Um, we want to make sure that when property is bought or transferred that the water right stays with it, um, and keeping these, updated, these records updated within the Department of Natural Resources. So what this bill does is just make sure that the seller and the buyer are aware of the things that they need to do, the paperwork they have to complete um, to make sure that when the seller sells the property or the water and the buyer buys it, that the seller comes off the file and the buyer goes on it. Um, and so it's really in your best interest if you're buying or selling things to make sure that uh, the, the files are updated. The other thing it does is put a time constraint on so there are 30 days to get this done, especially with the department. Um, in the past, there's been some time issues with making sure it gets done fast enough. So this will hopefully do that. Um, some of the other bills we testified on was Senate Bill 91, and this has to do with, a, with fiscal notes and their impacts to businesses. So right now, when uh, bills come through that might have some sort of fiscal impact, there's a fiscal note that is sometimes attached with it. And it talks about the um, impacts of this of monetary stuff with the state. And what this bill will do is that there will be a fiscal note to explain how this will fiscally impact businesses across the state. So we did support that as well. Um, we heard a bill in Senate Natural, or I'm sorry, Senate Ag about updating um, hemp regular or hemp laws that are uh, a little bit more equivalent to what happens on a federal level. So um, we just support that there's uh, equivalency of what's going on the federal level in the state law. Um, so that was just a cleanup bill and that was on the request of the Department of Ag. So we were happy to support the Department of Ag as well as this bill in, um, to talk about hemp. Um, next I came up with Senate Bill 108. So if you were tuning in last week, there was some conversation about um, the health county health officials and their authority and we talked about it last week about how um, we pass policy in our um, policy development process that wants to not allow unrestricted authority of county health departments so this senate bill is actually really similar to house bill 144 and house bill 121 so we were happy to support that on the senate side as well um, and then lastly, I just earlier today, actually just about an hour ago, uh, testified on behalf of Senate Bill 65, which was passed in the Senate last week and was heard in the House today in uh, the committee. So the, the hearing is actually still going on. It's been a, a pretty long one with lots of comments and questions. Um, so we're happy to support that again through the House and hopefully it passes the House. Um, 
so those were just some of the kind of the high level bills. There were quite a few, like I said, um, and uh, we'll we'll be tuning in every Friday at noon. I want to keep this short because um, I know you guys are all doing a lot of different things. And I want to make sure you're able to listen to Nicole over on Facebook as well. So if you have questions, like I said, place them in the comments. Let me know that you're here. Um, I see quite a few people have joined. Um, on here and so we're, we're happy to have you we're happy that you joined in and like I said every Friday at noon we're going to try and talk through um, some updates that have been happening here in Helena um, both on Instagram and on Facebook so one of the promises we made last week on Facebook was that we would do it in a different spot every week so last week we did it on one side of the house and this time I'm doing it right where we sit and do all of our work um, I would show you where we work here in Helena but the desk is pretty messy so instead I'll just Get out of the way and you can see what the weather looks like in Helena today. Um, like I said, we got some snow tonight, yes, last night, sorry. And uh, it's uh, showing up to be a bit of a winter day, so we're, we're excited for that. Um, so I'll wait around for a few minutes. If anybody's got questions, um, let me know, put them in the comments. Uh, we appreciate you being here. We always are happy to share our updates with those, those of you that are following along. Um, being up in Helena is, you know, there's a lot going on, lots to keep track of, and we want to make sure that you guys as Montana Farm Bureau members are aware of it. So I don't see any questions. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll be happy to keep this short, but like I said, if you have questions later, if you're listening to this later on, then please feel free to sh send us a message and let us know what questions you might have on any of the bills I talked about, um, or any other questions, uh, as well as know that, you know, as Montana Farm Bureau members, you get uh, weekly updates in multiple different ways um, from Montana Farm Bureau, including uh, a legislative e-source that goes out to your email every Friday. Uh, Boots on the Hill is a publication that's sent out to different news sources across the state, as well as posted on our website that you can read about some of the things that we're doing. And then there's also our legislative highlights that get sent out a few times throughout the session to your mailbox. Um, if you're not getting any of those stuff, make sure that you're signed up as a Farm Bureau member. You can call the office in Bozeman and uh, we'll make sure to get you signed up. Or if you are a Farm Bureau member and you're not getting it, make sure that you first check your junk box. Um, and then if that's not where it is, make sure that we've got your email updated in the system. So like I said, quick run through of the bills. Hope it was helpful. Uh, Ask some questions if you've got them. Um, and again, like this week, uh, our, our big things were water rights. We want to make sure that water rights are um, a high priority because water is so important to agriculture and to farmers and ranchers. So we want to make sure that when uh, ownership changes, that those files change, the, act, the records are changed and kept accurate. Um, and all of the other things I talked about. So feel free to watch and give me questions or Call us at the office if you've got more questions. So thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.